Hi, I'm Dr. Annie. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic for your fertility. We need to investigate whether or not the fear factor is blocking you from getting pregnant. What is the fear factor? The fear factor is every time you feel fear or worry. Why would that block your fertility? The body is programmed to prioritize survival over reproduction. So if you're in a state of fear or worry, your body basically thinks that you have moved into a new neighborhood filled with woolly mammoths ready to stomp on you at any second. And what does it say to the body? It says, hey, this is not a safe time to get pregnant. That's what the body thinks. Every worrisome thought, every fearful thought gives your body the message. It's not safe to get pregnant right now. And guess what? The body won't get pregnant. So we need to figure out how to manage that worry and that fear factor because they're so inherent in this fertility process. They start from the moment you want to get pregnant, especially if you're going to be a great mom, because you want this more than anything, which is wonderful. So when you want something really badly, you tend to worry about it. But guess what? Worry just brings that to you, which you don't want. We need to figure out how to circumvent the worry. And I'm not telling you to try to change your thoughts about getting pregnant because that is almost impossible to do. So in those moments, what I would say to do is completely divert, divert your attention to something else. Start thinking about things that make you happy. Start thinking about things that you're grateful for. You can call a friend. You don't have to talk about fertility. In fact, I would advise that you don't because that will just ignite that worry and that fear again. You can do all of these things in order to bring down that worry and that fear because excited expectation is what's going to bring things to you that you do want and you do want that baby. Worry isn't serving you on any level. Some of my patients have said, I've been helping patients get pregnant for 17 years. Some of my patients have said to me, but Dr. Annie, if I don't worry, then I might be disappointed. Um, if you don't worry, are you not going to be disappointed? No, you're going to be disappointed either way because you're going to be a great mom and you care about this. But worrying is not serving you on any level. It is not going to save you from disappointment. It is not going to save you from anything down the line. And the only thing that it will do is hold away from you what you want, which is your new baby. So be in the energy of welcoming in your new baby. Be in the energy of excitement about your new baby and try your best to drop that worry and that fear and divert your attention to something else. I hope this helps. If you liked it, subscribe. Tell other people about it. Hopefully it can help them too. And you're going to be a great mom.